good morning and happy new year from Scotty Wandering. That's my channel. My name is Peter and I figured I'd take today. It is dawn or sunrise right now in Cross Plains State Park. Now I've been here for a half an hour now and I haven't stepped in state land yet. I was in county land and right now I am in national park land in Cross Plains, Wisconsin, just outside of Middleton, outside of Madison. And I am on the nice Ice Age National Scenic Trail, which is now part of the National Park System, officially. So today I am going to start by sort of recapping my year of 2023, and then give you a little bit of, hopefully, what I think I might want to do in 2024 and what's new for 2024. So let's get going. I'm going to give you a recap of what I've done on this channel this past year. So in 2023, I had 68 videos that I put out for you. Of those, I say six of them I would consider other videos. There's some water flowing, there's things that don't really fall into other categories of tours like everything else. Then I had 10 campgrounds outside of Wisconsin. In those campground tour videos, one of them was a trip my wife and I made to Iceland. If you haven't seen that yet, and I know you haven't because almost no one's seen that video, it shows you what's like camping in Iceland. I show eight I think about eight different campgrounds in Iceland and they're all varied, but the landscape and the ability to travel is just amazing in Iceland. So check that out. And then there's five other videos of campgrounds outside Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa. Worth checking out if you want to stay local. And both Iowa and Illinois, Illinois do state park campgrounds differently than Wisconsin. And that's what I really explore in those videos and it gives you a sense of what they're like. Now I only added three state park videos this year. One was Bigfoot Beach State Park, which I would say is more like an Illinois state park than Wisconsin state park in the camping. Another one was another tour detailed winter tour in Governor Dodge of one of the two campgrounds there. And then the third one was what was supposed to have been my first campground tour in 2020, but it wasn't open yet. But I finally got to it at the end of November or in late October, early November, down at New Glarus State Park. So those are the only three state parks I got to. And the reason those are the only three state parks I got to because those are the last ones I could just drive into to camp in. There are also a couple more with only walk-in sites or got to take a ferry in Door County to get to that I haven't done yet. Now, what I really focused this year on was our state forests and national forest within Wisconsin. So here's the stats on that. I did 11 or 18 campgrounds in the in our state forest, the American Legion State Forest up in northeastern Wisconsin, and 31 videos in the Shiguamagan Nicolay National Forest this year alone. So I really get us into what those forest campground camping is like. Detailed views, campground tours of all of them. They range from, say, a couple hundred sites down to six sites. Some of them, uh, all the state forest ones, are reservable on WisconsinGoingToCamp.com. And only some of those national forest ones are available on Recreation.gov. A lot of them are first come, first serve only. And you're not going to find them very easily unless you take my tours. So that's kind of what I did in the past year. Lots of campground tours, lots of walking those to those campgrounds for you. Now, what's going on here? I am on the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. Ice Age National Scenic Trail and the North Country Trail are both officially 
National Park Service property or trails now. I am actually on National Forest Service land. Uh, National Park Service, not forest. National Park Service land here outside of Cross Plains. It's an old homestead that is part of the, is the National Park Service. There is fish and wildlife land. There is state DNR land. There is county land. It all makes up this county, this state park in Cross Plains. And specifically, it's here, part of the Ice Age National Alliance and on the Ice Age National Trail. And the volunteers have done a beautiful job this past year putting in boardwalks like this. All right, if you're not fully familiar with the Ice Age Trail, and you haven't been watching many of my videos because I cross it a lot, I'm going to run down all the state parks, national forests, national uh, state forests, and other parks that I've been to that are on the Ice Age National Trail. So we're going to start ourselves off with Potawatomi State Park. That's the eastern terminus of the park. Then you work your way down to Point Beach State Park outside of two rivers. Then it kind of cuts in off the shoreline, heading down to the northern unit of the Kettle Moraine State Forest. Uh, there are lots of campgrounds throughout there, hundreds of sites there. Then it works its way down to the southern unit of the Kettle Moraine State Forest. So that heads us more towards Whitewater. Then it jumps down, heading down towards Janesville, Wisconsin. That's sort of its southernmost point, and it goes through town at that point. Then it works its way up through Evansville, and actually I found out that I used to live within 200 yards from where it now currently runs, um, and it wasn't there when I lived there. But then it works its way up along the edge of Madison, Middleton, and then out to Cross Plain State Park, where I am now. And I am currently on Ice, Ice Age National, Ice Age Alliance state land, whatever that means. So it's, you know, public land. Um, then, let's see here. Then we work our way up through Lodi to um, Devil's Lake State Park. And it wanders all of the wonderful trails there, East Bluff Trail, the West Bluff Trail, um, or you can take Tumble Rock. And then after that, it splits at Devil's Lake. You can head east to Portage or north. And if you head north, then you go to Mirror Lake State Park, Rocky Arbor State Park, Rocache State Park. And then it meets back up with the other segment. And you get up to Hartman Creek State Park, sort of in the middle of the state. Then it keeps heading straight and heading up north. And I stumbled on that. Oh, it goes through the Dells of Eau Claire. There's a nice little campground there, too. That's a county park. Works its way all the way over to Antigo. Wraps around Antigo before it starts heading back west. And then eventually you get over to Burnett Island in Cornell State Park. Straight Lake State Park, which is wonderful if you're a backpacker. Like to hike into your campsite and you want to be remote. I mean, the, the sites are... You know, like a quarter mile from the next site. A wonderful place. And then works its way over to the Interstate State Park, um, which is on the border with Minnesota, and they have their interstate across the lake. That's where the potholes are. Potholes Trail is where that starts out. So that is the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. There's another scenic trail in Wisconsin that is also a part of the National Park Service, too. Well, that was unexpected. You know, I expect to maybe see a deer, some squirrels, something like that. That was not a coyote. That was a wolf that I just saw pass through here. Going over the ridge. That was not something I expected to find here in southern Wisconsin. Anyway, moving on. Okay, moving on to the other national trail. And I'm going to keep my eyes over there because that's where he just went while I go down this list. So if you're not familiar with the North Country Trail, it goes from North Dakota all the way to, for, to Vermont. Um, in the state, 
let's say it kind of comes in across the state line from Minnesota near Patterson State Park. And that allows you to camp behind Little Manitou Falls um, in some backpacking campsites where the falls are right there. It's a beautiful spot. Um, then works its way through the St. Croix National Scenic Riverway, been through the Shiguamaga Nicolay National Forest, goes through Copper Falls, goes past Wren Falls in the Bill Thompson Memorial Bridge. I have to mention that because I'm going to put a picture here now that I took from that bridge several years ago. Then up through Foster Falls, Upson, and then it crosses off into Michigan. So it doesn't do a lot in Wisconsin, but it is actually a beautiful trail, and it's really along a big chunk of the waterfall tour that you can take in northern Wisconsin. So it's worth checking out. Now, those two national scenic trails that come through Wisconsin, the drawback on, on those compared to some of the other ones that you know, like Pacific Crest or the Appalachian Trail or things like that, is these trails are a big chunk on private land. They pass through a lot of our national forests, state forests, state parks, county parks, things like that. And those are parks because they're kind of places like this that didn't farm well. Um, very steep terrain and things like that because they were on the edge of the glaciers. So once you get off of those specific areas, you got to stay on trail because you were probably on somebody's private property if it's not walking along a roadway anyway. So that's where it's good to have a friend who doesn't want to hike. And then you can support the trail communities because your friend will drop you off at a parking area to start a sex segment of the of the trail you hike your segment while you're hiking your segment your friend can go visit that trail community that is there happy to support the people on our this national scenic trail so check the national trail alliance website great trail information there you can zoom in to any detail of that trail segment you want and it shows you where those trail communities are that you and your friend can go visit. All right, so what's next for 2024? Well, video-wise, I'm going to keep doling out my the last of my 2023 stuff. In late November, I went down to southern Illinois and down into Kentucky, and I did a bunch of camping in the Shawnee National Forest and Land Between the Lakes. So I'm just finishing up that series right now in the Shawnee National Forest in Illinois. And actually this Wednesday's video is free camping on the Ohio River. I think there's like five sites, but a lot of space. It's kind of interesting. Then I go down and check out what it's like to camp down at Land Between the Lakes. If you don't know what that is, you might want to look into it. And it is landbetweenthelakes.us is where you find out all the information about there. Again, it is not on recreation.gov. So recreation.gov is not going to point you to all the national, uh, the U.S. owned parkland campgrounds and things. There are other options out there. And what else am I going to do this year? Well, I'm not sure what's up next for wandering in my travels here i am planning a trip with my wife to the redwoods this summer uh we'll be renting a camper van out of portland and heading down to the northern edge of california and checking out the national park national state parks and national forest where i'm probably going to be spending a good chunk of my time camping it's interesting that like what am i going to do next well i need to check out the national forest lands in the up I stopped because I was just focused on the Shiguamig and Nicolay National Forest. For some reason, national forests obey state lines. The next national forest is across the state line. So I'm going to take advantage of that when I'm in California, where just over the border in Oregon is a different national forest. So people, when they're searching for a place to stay in California, don't think to just cross that state line, which is just another half hour drive from the Redwoods. Beyond that, I'm looking for suggestions. If there's some place I've missed, let me know. I know I need to go to Newport in um, Door County and wander out to those campsites. I haven't done that yet. Those are walk-in only. 
I probably need to take the ferry then across heading out of Door County into the other state park, which I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, again, it's not someplace I would build a camp with my vehicle, and I kind of like doing that. So that's it for this wrap up of 2023 and a start of 2024. So get out, get that first hike. That's why I'm out today. First hike, first day of the year, exploring someplace I've never been before. Um, and it's such an interesting state park, natural forest, national park land, uh, fish and wildlife land, national trail alliance land. I don't think I've actually been on DNR land yet here. So thanks for coming along on this trip. I hope you find something from 2023 that was useful to you. If not, go back and look. Hundreds of videos. And I've got a couple hundred videos, all the state parks, all the state forest campgrounds. There's a couple here and there I've missed, I'm sure. Let me know what I've missed. Get on out there and watch out for deer.